everyone i am mrs sunita dor topic covered is syntax directed definition dependency graph in previous video we covered introduction of syntax directed translation syntax directed definition synthesize attribute and inherited attributes in this video we are going to cover dependency graph learning outcomes at the end of the session students will be able to draw the dependency graph and write the evaluation order dependency graph if an attribute b at a node in a parse tree depends on attribute c then the semantic rule for the attribute b at that node must be evaluated after the semantic rule that defines c the interdependencies among the inherited and the synthesized attribute at the node in the parse tree can be depicted by a directed graph called a dependency graph dependency graph visualizes these requirements each attribute is a node we add edges from the node for attribute c to the node for attribute b if b depends on c for procedure call we introduce a dummy synthesized attribute that depends on the parameters of procedure call dependency graph for a given parse tree is constructed as follows for each node n in the parse tree do for each attribute a of grammar symbol at n do construct a node in the dependency graph for a then for each n in the parse tree do for each semantic rule b equals to f of c1 c2 up to ck associated with the production use at n do for i equals to 1 to k do construct an edge from the node for ci to the node for p example suppose a dot a equals to f of x dot x comma y dot y is a semantic rule for the production a derives x y this rule defines a synthesized attribute a dot a that depends on the attribute x dot x and y dot y if this production is used in the parse tree then there will be three nodes a dot a x dot x and y dot y in the dependency graph with an edge to a dot a from x dot x since a dot a depends on x dot x and an edge to a dot a from y dot y since a dot a also depends on y dot y the dotted line represent the parse tree and are not the part of the dependency graph second example if the production a derives xy has the semantic rule x dot i is equal to g of a dot a comma y dot y associated with the uh, with it then there will be an edge to x dot i from a dot a and also an edge to x dot i from y dot y since x dot i depends on both a dot a and y dot y the dotted line represents the parse tree and are not the part of the dependency graph whenever the following production is used in the parse tree we add the edge as shown in figure to the dependency graph three nodes of the dependency graph marked by dark circle represent the synthesized attribute e dot val even dot val and the e2 dot val at the corresponding node in the parse tree the edges to e dot val from the even dot val shows that e dot val depends on even dot val and an edge to e dot val from e2 dot val shows that e dot val also depends on e2 dot val the dotted line represent the parse tree and it is not a part of the dependency graph figure shows the dependency graph uh, for the parse tree shown here nodes in the dependency graph are marked by the numbers there is an edge to the node 5 for l dot in from node 4 for the t dot type because the inherited attribute l dot in depends on the attribute t dot type according to the semantic rule l dot in equals to t dot type for the production d derives tl two down two downward edges into node 7 and 9 arise because l dot in depends on l dot in according to the semantic rule l1 dot in equals to l dot in for the production l derives l1 comma id 
each of the semantic role at type id dot entry comma l dot in associated with the l production leads to the creation of the dummy attribute so in this diagram 6 8 and 10 are constructed for these dummy attributes evaluation order a topological sort of a directed a cyclic graph in any ordering of the nodes of the graph such that for any nodes a and b if a derives b a appears before b in the ordering there may be many possible topological orderings for a DAG. Any topological sort of a dependency graph gives a valid order in which the semantic rule associated with the nodes in a pass tree can be evaluated. That is, in topological sort, the dependent variable C1, C2 up to CK in a semantic rule B equals to F of C1, C2 up to CK are the are available at a node before f is evaluated <coughs> example each of the edges in the dependency graph in the figure goes from the lower number to the higher number a topological sort of the dependency graph is obtained by writing down the nodes in the order of their numbers from the topological sort we obtain the following program a4 is equal to real a5 is equal to a4 at type id3 dot entry comma a5 a7 is equal to a5 then at type id2 dot entry comma a7 a9 is equal to a7 and at type id1 dot entry comma a9 in addition to the topological sort there are three methods for the evaluation of the semantic rule first is the pass tree method so at compile time these method this method obtain an evaluation order from the topological sort of the dependency graph constructed from the pass tree for each input these method will fail to find the evaluation order only if the dependency graph for the particular pass tree under consideration has cycle second method rule based method at compile compiler construction time the semantic rule associated with the production are analyzed either by hand or by a specialized tool. For each production, the order in which the attribute associated with that production are evaluated is predetermined at compiler construction time. Oblivious method. An evaluation order is chosen without considering the semantic rule. For example, if the translation takes place during the parsing, then the order of evaluation is forced by parsing method independent of the semantic rule. Rule based and oblivious method need not ex explicitly construct the dependency graph at compile time. So they can be more efficient in their use of compile time and the space. Till now we covered the dependency graph and the evaluation order. Now pause this video and reflect on this question for a minute or two minute and write your response. Once you return the answer to this question, then you can restart playing this video. Question is, draw dependency graph for the input 3 into 4 for the following syntax directed definition of simple desk computer calculator. Dependency graph for the input 3 into 4 for given syntax directed definition of a simple desk calculator is shown below in the diagram. Nodes in the dependency graph are marked by the number. There is an edge to the node 2 for f.val from the node 1 for the digit.lexval because the synthesized attribute f.val depends on the attribute digit.lexval according to the semantic rule f.val is equal to digit.lexval for the production f derives digit. Similarly, other edges are added according to the semantic rule associated with the respective production. Each of the semantic rule print e dot val associated with the production l derives l e n leads to the creation of dummy attribute 8. The topological sort for the input 3 into 4 for given syntax, syntax directed definition of a simple desk calculator is given here a1 is equal to 3, a4 is equal to a2, a3 is equal to 5, a5 is equal to a3, a6 is equal to a4 into a5, 
a7 is equal to a6 print 15 this is the reference used for preparing this presentation thank you